Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Deller and I am back with a new video and in today's video We're gonna be doing my Madden 25 core elite quarterback predictions So we're gonna be taking a look at uh, every quarterback I have I'm gonna do my top 10 and I'll probably have a few a few people that could be switched out for the you know 10 or 9 position or at least some uh, honorable mentions uh, before we get into the top 10 but uh, yeah, if you guys have been enjoying the daily uploads, make sure to hit that sub button because we're going to go absolutely crazy on Madden 25, especially with that Commander's theme team. And if you guys do enjoy this video, man, make sure to hit that like button. So uh, let's just hop right into my top 10 quarterbacks heading into Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Starting off with our first honorable mention, we do have Trevor Lawrence. Don't mind the, uh, the spelling there. Uh, um... But yeah, Trevor Lawrence did have a 82 overall quarterback core elite card going into Madden 24. Do I think he will have that same overall? I do not. I don't think he'll get that overall. Um, I, I, I just don't see it happening. I don't see Trevor Lawrence getting an 82 overall. Now, moving up, we do have Kirk Kirk Cousins. Again, don't, don't mind the spelling. Uh, we do have Kirk Cousins here who had an 81 overall. I forgot that I put their... Um, their overalls here so kirk cousins had an 81 overall heading into madden 24 now again do i think he's going to be an 81 overall maybe yeah, i don't i don't know it could be whatever i i don't think trevor lawrence is an 82 i think he's an 80 81 maybe um again honorable mention kirk duggins i think he's going to be you know maybe 81 80 you know he had a very bad injury he was playing lights out though before he did get injured that was my mvp candidate uh before he got hurt um, which is crazy because of his age, but, and then again, Jared Goff, 80 overall heading into Madden 24, uh, definitely did not get as much love as I feel like he deserved. Uh, Jared Goff is a, he's the leader of that, of that team that was super bad. And now that is super good, you know, one win away from going to the Super Bowl. Now, before we do get into my top 10 quarterbacks, I kind of want to go over how I rank these guys. So, uh, I was talking to, you know, some of the people in the chat and they were kind of saying that Madden 25 would kind of keep it the same ultimate team wise as college football. And if you guys don't know, don't play cut or anything like that. College football's highest overall core elite is an 85 overall, nothing higher. You know, obviously there's higher cards, but core set cards, the highest overall is 85. Now, if that's, you know, whether that be the case or not, you know, this is still my ranking on how I would give these uh, overalls. So let's say 86, again, like Madden 24 is their highest. You know, I still think my number one guy would be an 86. You guys can probably understand who that is. But um, yeah, that's kind of how we did the rankings. Um, whether they're, whether, however they do it or not, this is personally what I think they're going to, you know, go going to do. But uh, heading in to my number 10 spot, we do got Jordan Love. Uh, now the highest paid player in NFL history, which is kind of insane because he only played well one season. But uh, I will give it to him. I doubted Jordan Love the entire year. In the entire year. From the start to the finish. Um, but he proved me wrong. And that is why in a lot of my clips on Twitch, I am wearing a Packers jersey. Because my forfeit every single week that I doubted Jordan Love, and he won, was to wear that Packers jersey. So... You know, I'm going to give him his respect now. He had an, a 72 overall elite card in Madden 24. And I do have him getting a nice little juicy 82 overall, uh, you know, Jordan Love quarterback card. Heading, uh, heading to the number nine spot, I do have Jalen Hurts. Now, Jalen Hurts did go from an 84 overall. And I do have him dropping down to an, uh, to an 82 overall. Uh, I just don't think he played that well you know i mean they they choked in the playoffs against the bucks and then obviously i mean he threw all over a banjo forbes but you know i feel like i could have done that um all right let me stop roasting my team but yeah jalen hurts compared uh just based off of how i think they're gonna do the ratings i don't think jalen hurts is near an 84 overall if if the 80 if 80 if 84 or if 85 is their highest overall i think jalen hurts could be an 82 you know just based on what i think the overalls are going to be and next up that's going to leave cj stroud 
I have being number eight. So CJ Stroud was a 78 gold card in uh, Banna 24. And I do have him getting a boosted all the way up to an 82 overall uh, elite card in Madden 25. Uh, CJ Stroud absolutely took that Texans offense and just made it explode, you know. I was watching CJ Stroud in the preseason. He was struggling a little bit, but it, once stuff got rolling down there in Houston, guy was playing lights out, had an absolutely great season, one, one offensive rookie of the year and everything like that. So I do have CJ Stroud getting a nice little 82 overall core elite card to start off Madden 25. Number seven, uh, again, Joe Shiesty. Joe Burrow had an 85 overall in Madden 24. Uh, you know, he had, a, he had some injuries. He did have injuries. EA does you know account for injuries um so i do think he will drop a little bit especially since i do believe 85 is the max elite card that they would give out i think he's going to drop a little bit i think joe burrow will be will be our first 83 overall core elite card in uh in madden 24 excuse me in uh in madden 25 Number six, I do have Justin Herbert. Now, is Justin Herbert a top 10 quarterback? I Dude, I don't know in real life, but I do know EA likes Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. So, you know, I think these guys are kind of going hand-to-hand. -hand. I have them both ranked at uh, an 83 overall, uh, but Justin Herbert's coming off of an 84 overall uh, Madden 24 card, and I do think he will go down just one just due to the um, overall switching. Uh, I do think he will become an 83 overall card all right and then top, heading into the top five i do have dak prescott who had an 83 overall in uh in madden 24 but i do think he's going to get a boost up in madden 25 uh dak prescott to be honest with you love him or hate him guy was balling got him in cd man lights out all year long uh again he was kind of having an mvp type year as well i don't know really what happened towards the end but um Dak Prescott was having a very good year. Unfortunately, we do we did play him two times a year, and he cooked us both times. But Dak Dak's a very good quarterback, top five as well. Um, number four, I personally don't really like this ranking, but I do think EA loves Tua, and without Tyreek Hill, I don't think Tua is at all that great of a quarterback. He was an 83 overall, but you know he led the league in yards. He did all this. He did all that. So I will give him his plus one because I think EA will give him a plus one. Obviously, I do think he'll, they'll give him an upgrade. But if I'm ranking this personally, I do not think Tua is that great of a quarterback. I personally give him like an 82 maybe. But you know he did lead all these things and and you know he led all the leagues in yards and stuff like. I don't know. Not a fan of Tua, as you might be able to tell. Um, number three. We got the MVP of the league, Lamar Jackson. I do think it was a Mickey Mouse trophy, um, but that is for another video. Lamar Jackson had a 84 overall in uh, Madden 24, and I do think EA will give him his uh, plus one boost in Madden 25. Just you know, just due to that MVP, uh, that MVP award, uh, I think that will give him that plus one boost. Uh, obviously, Lamar Jackson is also a very fan favorite due to his release and um, mobility. But number two, I do have Josh Allen. Uh, obviously, Madden 24, he was the 86, which was the highest core elite card in the game. But just from my prediction on how they're going to do it overall-wise, like I keep saying, I do think he's going to be an 85, which would be that maxed out elite, you know, core elite overall at an 85. Now, if they, if they stay um, at an 86, just kind of bump all these overalls up one. So Jordan Love 83, Hurts 83, CJ Stroud 83, and you know Josh Allen 86. That's if they stay with 86. I don't know how they're going to do it yet. We are yet to get any information at all about Ultimate Team. So hopefully here in a few weeks we'll be able to uh, to get some information on Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Now before we hop into our number one quarterback, you guys may know, but if you guys do enjoy this list, make sure to hit that like on this video and let me know down in the comments who I left off this list maybe or who you would rank any higher or lower. But taking a look at the number one spot, it is going to be that boy, Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl winner, obviously greatest quarterback we've seen in a very long time, um, uh, obviously other than uh, Tom Brady. But uh, I do think Patrick Mahomes is going to be, uh, again, the highest overall possible, whatever that is, an 85, 86, 87, 88, whatever overall it is, you best believe Patrick Mahomes is going to be that overall, the highest overall it is. 
Um, but yeah, that is going to be my um, Madden 25 top 10 core elite quarterbacks. This is just my prediction. Just what I think personally. You guys might have a different idea. So let me know for real down in the comments. Let me know if uh, how you guys like this list and what should be different. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Next video will probably be uh, my prediction on NFL running backs. Uh, so make sure to go check that out when it goes, when it is uh, posted. Now, see you guys later, man. Peace. <laughs>